I have an idea. What if we could run an instant replay using Mevo Multicam software? It is not on the roadmap as far as I know. It is certainly not an official, uh, an, an official feature of Mevo Multicam. But I was doing a consultation with a fellow about a month ago, and the idea came up. We were talking about running instant replay on some other platforms. And this idea just popped into my head of, hey, you know what? I think there's a way for us to do it. Because we have access through the Mevo Pro subscription to a secondary device running Mevo Go, and because we can show anything that's playing on the Mevo Go device into our stream, it's possible that we could actually load the live stream itself onto the Mevo Go device and run it back into our own live stream, knowing that when I stream to YouTube, the actual live that I get when I'm monitoring it is going to be 15 to 30 seconds behind. And I've done enough instant replay on other platforms to know that about 20 seconds is the sweet spot for most instant replays. This is going to be able to work in football streams. It's going to be able to work in volleyball streams, most likely, and it's going to be able to work in baseball streams. Probably not basketball because it's so much faster paced. There's just not the breaks. But at the end of every football play, there is 30, to, uh, 30 seconds to a minute of downtime while the ball is reset, while the huddle happens, and while uh, the, the teams come to the line. Now, if they're doing a hurry-up offense, I get it. You don't have that kind of time. But for most high school football or, or, or younger kid football, there's going to be some time in between. Uh, for baseball, you know, while the next batter is uh, is having their walk-up song played, while they're coming into the batter's box, you've got some time between either a really good strikeout or a really good hit or a really good defensive play. You've got some seconds there where you can you can run an instant replay back into your live stream. For volleyball, after a point is scored and you want to show the last few hits of that volley, uh, all the all the, the the team members come to the to, to each other there on their side of the court. They all do the high five, and then the ball is given to the server to go back behind the line, and, and that takes some seconds. So this is a possibility for several of our sports streams. Okay, so what I've done is I have started Mevo Go on an extra iPhone. I have chosen the screencast version, the screencast option in Mevo Go, and then I have loaded up this live stream so that whatever I pull in is going, should be about 15 to 30 seconds behind what's actually happen, happening. So when I click over onto that stream, I should be getting what just happened in the stream. For example, Okay, so there it was. Now, I know that was an audio-free version because I want to make sure I'm not doubling up the audio. We're going to do it, in just a, uh, do it again in just a second. I'm going to turn the audio on, and then we'll do it a third time, leaving the audio on and see if it doubles up. But some of you are, are, are thinking, uh, this is useless, and some of you are thinking, oh, I could use that in my, in my stream. And so let's go ahead and take it a step further. Instead of it just being a replay that nobody knows is a replay that might bring some confusion into your stream, what if we went ahead and did an overlay that said replay across the top or the bottom or in some spot where you know it's not going to be interfered with? So what I did was I went into Keynote, built a 1920 by 1080 uh, whole screen graphic, transparent background and I have white letters with red background that says replay across the bottom. I exported that that image from Keynote uh, as an image uh, PNG transparent background and then I loaded it in the graphics section of Mevo Multicam. So this time when I click back over to the to the, the delayed stream I'm going to go ahead and also uh, go into my um, go into my graphics tab and choose replay as well. Here we go. And then I load it on. in the graphics section of Mevo Multicam. So this time when I click back over to the, 
to the, the delayed stream, I'm going to go ahead and also uh, go into my um, go into my graphics tab and choose replay as well. Here we go. And then I'll load it on. in the graphics section of Nevo Multicam. So this time, when I click back over to And I have to the, go back in and turn the, the replay the graphics stream. off as well. Go now, I've left the audio on to see if it doubles my, up audio in the Multicam app. And that's just part of the test. I don't really know. As well. um, and so and this time, as we go back into so replay, so time, I want to know if it's doing it now, if, if there's any um, the replay, there's any audio doubling, looping. Okay, so it does loop audio if you leave the Mevo Go audio slider open. So there's going to be three taps in order for this to work. We're going to need to tap on the Mevo Go input, tap on the overlay for re re replay if you want to do that, and then turn on and off the audio slider as well. Because obviously you, saw, you heard it continue to loop and, and, and get even worse as it went. So making sure we turn that audio back off, uh, audio on, audio on, for Mevo Go only when the replay is playing and then turn it back off when the replay is over. You can tell when it ends. I'm going to, going to go ahead and mute the, uh, the Mevo Go input just in case there was any kind of glitch so we can finish this video out. If you watch uh, what's happening on the screen, uh, you'll be able to tell when, uh, as it goes into that, uh, that look that is the replay. It's not just a clean screen anymore. And so, uh, so you can kind of, kind of get that flow of how long that lasts, even if you're not listening to it, you're just watching to see what the replay was and you can switch back over to your live feed. Okay. So I'm ready. Some of you are going to say, I can't believe you put a video out like this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And there are going to be a few of you who geek out over this like I do. And you're going to say, Jason, I think I can use this. So hit me up in the comments. I've got my tough skin on. I'm ready to take it. You just tell me what you think about this one. Uh, this is just one of those things that I kind of geek out over. Uh, sometimes I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep and stuff like this pops in my head or we're having a conversation and, uh, and it just kind of pops out of thin air. But uh, is the instant replay by using a secondary device and Mevo Go streaming uh, the actual, you know, running the actual stream as though you were monitoring it. Is this something that's useful for your sports live streams? I, I'm just curious. Uh, I, I think I may try it the next time I stream with Mevo and, and we'll just see how it goes. I'll report back and let you know if it was a success or not. But, uh, but I think you'll probably be able to see based on what we've done here.